right, so it is the middle of June here in South Louisiana, and what we're about to do is plant some summer food plots, and we're a little bit late. I really would prefer to do this kind of at the end of May, but life gets in the way, and, and we're a little behind schedule, but we should, we should still be good. Um, so basically what we're, what we're doing is we have a 400 acre piece of property here that's kind of my home property at my house. Um, and the middle section is really kind of the biggest part. And I have two food plot, existing plots in the middle of this that I've prepped to get ready for planting. And the reason for that is down here in the south we have a ton of wild hogs. And between the expense of corn and feed throughout the summer and the intrusion of the hogs, it's kind of hard to feed all summer and really take care of your deer and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna plant some summer food plots to try to feed those deer. And we're doing it kind of strategically in two spots right here in this big middle section to try to suck in and hold a lot of deer throughout the summer and kind of give us a kickstart to uh, early bow season in October. So when turkey season ended, which was um, May the 1st, in May I came in with glyphosate and 2,4-D and um, I sprayed these because we had a lot of starting spring summer growth grass was getting thick so I mowed them and then I sprayed them and killed everything I let that sit for two or three weeks then I came in with the disc and basically what I did on that first round is I picked the back of the disc up so those front discs would really dig up and really just kind of turn it up and let it rain on it for a couple of weeks and just kind of give me a start of a seed bed so now I'm gonna come in today yesterday we actually came and threw fertilizer out um, on here and I'm gonna come in I'm gonna set the disc down flat and I'm gonna go over it and really disc all that fertilizer in and kind of get my seed bed ready then we're gonna throw the seed out and then we'll cover it and that'll be it so it's a pretty easy process and it's really easy to do you don't have to have big fancy farm equipment to do this it's pretty simple and we're gonna be planting iron clay peas and sunflowers so the good thing about those two things first of all they're great summer food for the deer the deer absolutely love the peas the sunflowers are also a legume, so both of those plants put a lot of nitrogen in the soil. They don't require a lot of that to grow, so um, they'll be better. Your food plots will be better when you when you disc all that back up for the fall and you plant. You'll actually be kind of off to a better start with your with your seed bed. So the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to set the disc down flat so we can really take this ground that's really already kind of broken up and really start to disc it up into a, a soft seed bed. We'll run a harrow over it, get it flat. Then that'll give us kind of a consistency so our seeds don't get too deep in any ruts. We don't have to you know, try to get rid of any of these big dirt clods. And that'll give us a good consistent seed bed where the seed hits the ground, we cover it up. It's all about the right depth. And then we'll come back in two to three weeks. We should already start to have a break. All right, so we all but finished. We have to drag this pot with a flat drag, cover the seed up, and we'll be done. We've got 40, 50% chance of rain, but it pretty much rains almost every day here during the summer. So we'll definitely get rain in the next 24 to 48 hours. That'll finish packing it down. Hopefully within two or three weeks, we'll have plants growing. We'll put some cameras out here and make sure you follow us on social media. Check back in on YouTube. We'll be following up with what kind of deer we're getting on camera and how this is kind of show you the after product of uh, how these plots come up and how they do for us this summer all the way into when we start planting this fall and uh, this is an easy easy way that you can improve your property and improve you know your carrying capacity how many deer you're holding and kind of suck those deer in they love this summertime food uh, food source and uh, it's like I said it's really easy to do you just need a, a kind of a basic tractor a disc and a drag and uh, a 14 year old boy that'll help you do all the work so Stay tuned, follow us, like I said, on our social media and YouTube and stuff. You can kind of see the after product of uh, when this stuff starts coming up. Can't wait to show it to you.